Well, I mean, that just on that, I mean, that I think we'd agree that some of the the use of freedom of speech by the far right in this country is abhorrent, and yet they are they argue that they are challenging the establishment. So that kind of calls into question your distinction between that. But on the issue of anonymity, um, I tend to take a more balanced view on it. Um, not because I don't think that transparency is a vital part of democracy, and I think because what, when, when you have freedom of speech, you also must be accountable and responsible for the arguments you put out. That's how you have a good debate. However, I do think we can't toss aside the fact that in certain situations, anonymity and having a private space, which exists in the real world, um, is important online. And to take an example, and usually I spend my time criticizing um, aspects of the hashtag MeToo movement, but it was a vital part of that was about women and men being able to anonymously share their stories as part of a wider conversation. And I think if you'd uh, privately asked any of those persons who did it anonymously whether or not they'd actually speak if they had to have a verified mm. name on it, they'd say no. Yeah. And so then does that mean that we're not allowing for a kind of free discourse? So I think with this, uh, I'm not balanced on freedom of speech. I think that should be an absolute. But on anonymity, I think we have to have a bit more of a nuanced discussion. But still, what really made me to roll was the naming. And yeah. that was really what was essential that suddenly said, hey, is that person, is that person, is that person? Yeah, but that that, some it. of those accusations turned out to be not true. So that's why yeah. anonymity is a complex thing. But that's again where freedom of expression shall come with responsibility. You can also be charged if you accuse somebody wrongly, which is right, right because this shouldn't happen. So I'm hearing some themes here on the one hand of privacy and anonymity being a really important part of privacy. And we want to have privacy because the opposite of this is a full surveillance state, which I'm not sure any of us necessarily want to live in either. But then there's this question of if we want to be free, which we also want, we want to be private, we want to be free, we need to have a digital identity, we need to have transparency, we need to have accountability. So we've got a big circle to square here. Yasmin, I want to make sure that you have time for just if you've got any points on this. Well, last I just bit. think it's not. Um, again, we have to be careful that we're talking about this country, I'm assuming we're talking about this country or Europe, okay? And we have checks and balances and we have rules. And the thing with anonymity, I can never say this word properly, is that it is the domain of the cowards. They, it is the most cowardly thing they do is that they say all this stuff and they whip up all this hatred, but they haven't the courage to say who they are. And how can you respect people who, who, who create, whip up real hatred against people like me or Diane or whatever, and aren't prepared to expose them. So unlike Mary Beard, who's much nicer than I am, um, I have met these guys and have not made them my friends, but I have said to them that you disgust me because you are cowards. I met them because they actually resorted to some very dangerous threats and the police actually identified them. And you know, when you meet them, they are quite pathetic. Of course. They're quite pathetic and unable to defend yeah. what they said. And that's what really gets me that under the guise of, oh, this is a free, brave new world, they are actually doing nothing useful for themselves or anybody else. Having strong opinions. Hey, I have friends who are even Tories. I don't mind them, <laughs> yeah? Uh, but, but there is a kind of respect I give them because they have integrity and they're, they can argue their case. But what do you do to people who are threatening to kill you and cut off your clitoris because they don't agree with what you said on the paper review? What do you say to them? That they are heroes of freedom of speech? Uh-uh. For more debates, talks and interviews, Subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.